Okay. Shall we start? I think we should start. Okay. Get you a gavel, I guess. Maybe more ducks up with a mallet. So, adjustments to select for agenda. Any adjustments? Anything we need to bring up other than what's on the agenda? We're, uh, the one that we forgot to I forgot to put on the agenda was the request from Worcester oh, yeah. for a letter. So you can either do that now or do it under other business at the end. Okay, we'll do it then. Under other business, okay. Any other amendments? Uh, not under this section. No. No, no. Public comment. Um, approved bills and payroll orders, which we're doing. Mm -hmm. Approved minutes, uh, which we're doing. I have the minutes here for you to sign. Okay. And then we'll give them directly to Rob. Right. Long. So, what, did, it get so lost like, did it get lost last time? Yeah, so that's what Brad Specifically, we can say that there is uh, an approval to do minutes after. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, we can approve to do the minutes after the meeting. Um, no, we, just they're approved. I mean, the, uh, Tegan has COVID and she's not here tonight, but she'll read the, uh, she'll watch the uh, video on HCTV and write the minutes from there, or write the, uh, the minutes. So she'll say the minutes were approved and the bills were approved. Hmm. Now I put on here some select board comment. Um, when we were organizing last week, we forgot to set the date and time for our regular meetings. And by doing so, we don't have to warn every meeting. So um, we've been doing the, the second and fourth Mondays at six o'clock. You wanna to continue to do that? I'm happy to do that. Yeah, likewise. Okay. Mm. Still starting at six o'clock. Yes. yes. Is that convenient for everybody? Yeah. Um. So for comments, uh, I guess we just have we just yeah raised on that raised on that. Yeah. yeah, unless you have anything else to talk about the procedures. I would like to get a copy of that little piece that you had to attach to the minutes, but I forget I, to ask you. Okay, I think I have that with me, but I'll check. You, yeah. Okay. Um, do you want, I'll give you a copy too then? Would you like that? It would be great if we could have all the same materials. Yeah. Did you sign that one? I believe it. Yep. Oh, great. Okay. Yep. Um, so we uh, to sign a, a special meeting petition in the fire department. We did that, didn't Town we? Clerk's report. Town. I think she gave it to you already. No, no, no. That was something different. Oh, okay. Yeah, this here is the... Warning for the special town meeting for the fire department that each one of you will have to sign. Oh, please. Okay. Right. We already set the time okay. and time. so on. And we just have to, can only issue the warning no more than 30 or less than 40 days. Um, When's it going to be? May 7th. Okay. 10 o'clock in the gym. Oh, I just wanted to, Chris, did you confirm that, Jim? Yes, we're all set for that. Oh, okay, good. All right. Okay, so that's uh, town treasurer's report. No, we didn't do town clerk report yet. Nope. Um, so we have to wait until we've done town mm -hmm. clerk's report. Town clerk's mm -hmm. report. All set? All set. Um, Thank you, miss. Dog licenses are coming in very slowly. We are up to 59. Ooh. And last year we had a total of 210 dogs. Hmm. And the due date is April 1st that they're to be due, and then they go delinquent. Wow. 
So we got a lot of puppies out there that need to get licensed this week. I forget how you go about doing that. Can you remind us? Yep, you can come into the office and do it. Or you can um, mail, check. mail in a check. You'll have to know if your dog is spayed or neutered. So a spayed, neutered dog is $9.00. Unspayed, unneutered is thirteen dollars, and then we would have to have a current rabies certificate, also. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and you can also, if you don't want to mail it, you can put it in the drop box on the porch. And last year, the uh, late fee was waived by the legislature or the governor, but it's not this year. Right? Not that I've heard yet. No. No, you wouldn't know, but no. Yeah. Um, and I'm getting myself educated on the zoning board of adjustment hearing that we got coming up also, <laughs> <laughs> which is interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and of course, recordings. That so, I, can I just ask, it's interesting. Um, because something is different, or is it just interesting it's, in terms it's of It's interesting this? because it's something I've never done before. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I just hope the three members of the board will show up. <laughs> I like this is only three out of five that are going to be available. Well, we've three of well, we've only got four now, and one of them is out of town. Rick Cannon, so the other three have to show up and they have to agree in order to come to a decision. Well, it might be advisable that somebody make, make sure they, are, they get a yeah, reminder think, or something. Yeah. Right. Skip Marcasani doesn't want to be the chair, but he is He's taking making sure that this He's is happening. making it happen. Yeah. That's the best way to do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, that's it? That's it. Um, have we we signed the petition for the special meeting? We did that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what we, we did just that. did. Um, town treasurer's report. Mm -hmm. Over the last two weeks, payroll totaling nine thousand four hundred twenty-four dollars and ninety-four cents. Accounts payable thirty-six thousand eight hundred forty-three dollars and forty cents. Taking in income from cash receipts. $1,680.20, which covers fleet permits, which is um, your overweight permits, access permit, records restoration, certified copies, copies at cost, dog licenses, land recording, land copies, prepaid taxes, vault fees, vehicle registration, and zoning permits. Delinquencies, we took in $8,938.22. Since our last meeting? Or this yes. is it? Yeah? Every two, yeah. I do the report on the, the two weeks. Yes. Um, State of Vermont deposited direct into our, our checking um, $8,379, um, in which $7,497 is toward the reappraisal fund and $882 goes to the Lister Education. Um, I transferred uh, 38500 over into the money market, from the money market over into the checking. Um, other things I have done. Oh, let me think. I dealt with a claim through the VLCT. Um, you say claim? Yes, there was an accident um, with one of the road crew. Um, granite trucks were parked on Cabot Road because the road was slippery. As um, one of our guys tried going around, he ended up nicking their mirror um, with our, our wing. Um, so I put in a claim. Um, yeah. And I. Which, which road crew member was that? That was Greg Parkhurst. Really? Um, so they, the, the company was out of New Hampshire, um, and they were great to deal with as far as. Um, and Trish from VLCT is, is taking care of it. Is there a deductible? 
I haven't heard anything back. Uh, mm -hmm. All I did was submit the claim, and she'll be. She um, gave me a confirmation email saying that it was in the process, but mm -hmm. there's no results yet. Who's going to do the work, or is the crew going to do it themselves, or who's going to? Put Nothing report? happened to our truck. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. It was, it was, it was, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, was, right. It was, uh, Remember. Yeah, okay, sorry for you. Yeah. Um, so, a reminder um, I have. So, VLCT, when I get my payroll audit done mm -hmm. on all the 1099s, anybody who is working for the town that's getting over a $600 threshold. The requirements are that the town has a contract with this vendor. They have certificate of insurance, proof of insurance. During the work, we have to have a business card and we have to have a non-employee workers agreement signed. If not, the note states that the contractor payroll the contractor will be put on payroll if you cannot provide all items listed will be charged as an employee on your audit. So if we do not have a contract, non-workers employees workers agreement, a business card and their valid insurance, then we are going to get penalized for anything that's over $600. Jeez. So I am, I am so everybody's Oof. aware when either they're hiring somebody to go to the town garage to work on equipment or work on any of our buildings, this document, because it, when it comes down to it, it's, it's me on the line when they come to do the audit. So those, and I, so right now I'm dealing with a company that, that just finished up works and they thought it was, um, yeah, anyway. So going forward, mm -hmm. so, um, can you put together a basic contract like for the work that was just done on the town hall? Because I've been in on the emails with the person from the pest management um, that uh, is available. So that um, just a kind of a basic contract um, for the work. Would you? Is there some yeah, kind the of? Yeah, BLCT form? has basic contracts that we can we can um, do. It's just yeah. Mm -hmm. But just something really simple that says exactly those lists those things that you just right. They, the S T has mm -hmm. one on there. Okay. It's just simple like that. I'm kind of left out in the oh here's the bill now pay it instead of right. mm -hmm. before them showing them to do the work. Mm -hmm. But the important thing is that they have insurance, right? I mean, like these pest people that we hired, they're a regular <laughs> company with employees, and I'm sure they have insurance and all that. They yes, don't need to have, have a to contract. Have, so do you have I to get have certificates to have of insurance? Certificate. I have to have a contract yeah. with the select board, them signing it. So we're all, our liabilities are covered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's important. Mm -hmm. Any questions for me? So I created. I went in, since everything from town meeting was approved, I went in to our budget summary tax rate. So this gives us revenue expenses, giving us an estimated what our tax rate is going to be. Yep, that's it. So currently, so where we're at right now with everything being approved, total expenses are over a million. On the right hand column on fiscal year 2023, mm. um, this is the first time we've been over a million since I've worked here. Um, so I just wanted to make everybody aware right now the tax rate, what the tax rate would be estimated at um, is 0.5079, going up from 0.542 from last year. And that's without the. That's without the fire department. Yep. It's about three and a half cents. Not bad. 
much of that increase is 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 the is our economy. I mean, I'm sure that there was items um, our audit was approved for uh, ten thousand for the town hall um, cemetery. Cemetery, cemetery, the library was an increase. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a bunch of factors. Mm -hmm. I mean, this doesn't really mm -hmm. even take mm -hmm. in, take inflation into account because this budget was done back in January before things got really bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, the highway, you can see, yeah. you know, how it's going to go up. Our expenses from last year going forward, and, and stuff is going to be more expensive. Parts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Diesel fuel. Yep. Fuel is huge. Mm. Mm. And then the other thing I left over there was a pay scale. Um. Mm -hmm. We're not on it. We're not on it. You're not. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank goodness. It has yeah. nothing to do with us. We can't pay us enough. So, so um, if there are uh, positions not on the form, which I'm not sure who has the pay scale document. Um, I do. Do you? No, I don't. No, there's, there's only one of them. Oh, there's only one of them. Have one. I been hogging it, all of this? No, yes. no, no. Just no, the one yes. in your hand. Just yes. the one that you're holding. So if there are positions that are not on there, that need to be on there for increases, then it's up to the board to tell me mm -hmm. designate um, before July 1. <laughs> well, we were discussing before we started the meeting that uh, when the board had their budget meeting in uh, January and agreed to a 3% raise, I asked whether it would be for everyone that gets an hourly wage, and the board agreed. Yes. You agreed to the hourly wage is what we agreed to. Well, you agreed to three percent as an hourly wage, and that would be applied to everybody who gets an hourly wage, which includes listers and auditors. Correct. And uh, so I will. So that being said, um, if you want to just make notes on that, and then I will adjust the Excel spreadsheet and Michael Dog warden. I don't remember who else. You don't have to make a full list, Miss Diana. Hmm? You don't have to make a full list. Okay. I mean, it's <laughs> for anybody hourly, right? She'll it's anybody it. hourly. Right. <laughs> okay. Town Highway Report. Well, if you're giving everybody a 3% raise and just pay for the hour, you better give me one. Yeah. You're on there. You're on there. <laughs> well, <okay. laughs> yeah. Can I read a report? Some of it's good, some of it's bad. Mm. Yeah, let's go with the bad. So, no, let's go with the good first. Oh. Uh, let's build you up. <laughs> We've been talking to gravel construction and if we pre-buy 1,500 yards of sand, we can buy it for the same price I put it up for last year. 1,500, you said? 1,500 yards. Yards. And it would be $7.50 a yard, which would be $11,250. That's one hell of a buy with the price of fuel and everything going up. That's They're good. expecting it's going to be eight twenty-five. dollars mm. And I would like to have that okayed if any way possible so that we can get locked in on that. Uh, how are we doing on sand uh, this year? Uh, we've done well. We've got some left. Um, we put the 1,500 yards up there, then Greg and I'll measure it up and see what we got. Okay. I think we didn't buy any last year, right? 
Done it all. We had a, we had enough luck from the year. We had before. enough luck from the year before that we just decided yeah. not to buy. Yeah. So Chuck. Well, we we should give thanks to Lynn Gallison on that because he bought all that stuff that was left over from the state three uh-huh. four years ago. Uh-huh. And, yeah. Yeah. and we just kept it. Up. <laughs> Where was it? So Chuck. Up top. What's that? Yeah. Sitting up top. Oh. We just piled it up. So we had budgeted twenty five thousand for next well, year. Yeah. Um. So you're you're talking all you're planning on using is eleven thousand. No, 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 no. Okay. That's about what they got for sand down there, and I would like to buy it up before they sell it to somebody else. Gotcha. It's a pre-buy. Gotcha. Yeah. You want four thousand yards a year, I think. It was. It's, it's going to say it was about seventy-five cents a yard. What it's going to be this year, and I've called around. I've talked to Dana. I've talked to Gravel. Uh, to uh, Davis, and I've talked to Demers, and they're all coming in. 820, 827. So this is a good saving. And like Gravel's around the court. Has Peter. In the past, had the best sand for the road. Do something. We've bought. Michael can probably say something about that. You want to make a? Want to make a motion? Yeah, I'll make a motion to approve. It would be a good deal. Make a motion to approve. Second. I'm going to abstain because gravel construction is a client of mine, so don't need you my vote. Recuse yourself, <laughs> Diana. There's a yeah. difference between abstaining and recusing. Oh, okay, recusing. All righty, thank you. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Chuck, buy it. Yeah. All right. When, when can we get a check, Randy? Whenever you'd like it. Tomorrow morning. He froze. Chuck's frozen. He's in shock. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is that Michael? That's not us, right? That's not us. We're hooked Chuck? directly. Chuck, you're back. Here he is. I'm back. Okay, so we approved it. When Brandy said you can have the Brandy said you can have a check tomorrow morning. No, he he's gone again. <laughs> no, he's he's moving around. Put you, your sound is off, Chuck. We're not getting it anyway. Hello. Okay. Yay! Now we can hear you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Can I get a check for that, Brandy? Tomorrow morning. Perfect. Hey, so the Chuck. Other thing that, the other major thing I have on the road crew is that we have we're getting mud dried up, but one of our people gave a two weeks notice today. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah. Peter Daly. Oh, no. Oh, crud. That's what I'll do. Is he going to Callis? Yep. <gasps> of course he is. Would, could we pay him more to get him to stay? No, I don't think so. Why not? Oh, you don't think he would accept it? Huh. I think that he's had it with us. Really? I thought he was happy with Greg. Darn. No. Chuck's frozen again, but... Is he fr- a, a, a daily from Callis? Yeah. Yes, he is. He lives in... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They've been offering him more money and a $2,000 oh, yeah. sign-on bonus. bonus. Yeah. Yeah. And they're down to two. That's what I heard, Callis. Mm. Well, There's more to it than that. We're down to one now. Well, yeah. the thing it is, one. he's looking for another... Yeah, he, did, he said that he was sure you wouldn't even pay him the money, which is true. And Laura is pissed off because she thought it should have been retroactivated back from the time he got hired on, and Di- he, she says Diana said that we couldn't do that. And no, so that's, 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 yeah, that's not true. But well, whatever. Yeah. But um, the damn. Well, I think we need to have a meeting soon in executive session and. Because there's some things going on that really need to be changed. Do we want to go into executive session at the end of the meeting? Do we have to do that? I don't, I don't think now? we're prepared. We don't have we to don't do it tonight, but what, it needs uh, to happen um, uh, with the four of us soon. Mm. I mean, mm. I'd like to do it. I'd like to do it tonight, but I don't think we have enough to discuss yet. We don't well, we don't know what he has. 
Yeah. We, we need better. There's going to be some hard feelings all the way around. Fair enough. That I'm sure of. Well, should we do it tonight? It's up to you. So, so this meeting's going to go pretty quickly, I think. So we yes, don't have that much else else to talk about. It's really up to up to you all. Do you want to wait until we finish our other business? Yeah, I got nothing going on. Okay. Let's do that then. Okay. Laura? Is she on? Here she is. Yeah. Can All right, you? you're on. Can you hear us? All right. Uh, not much with ARPA, we, although we did get the um, survey out and the application to folks. Great. So um, with the help of Robin, um, I think it's all mailed. And um, and a lot of stuffing of envelopes by Tara and Heather. Um, so it's all out, and it's also posted on the Woodbury website. Um, and I put a notice in Front Porch Forum just to let people know that it's being mailed home to one per residence. Okay. So that's where we are, and we left it that there'd be two two different due dates for the ARPA funds. Um, and we're hoping that that gets honored by the select board. So it would look like the first installment or you know, some aspect of the first installment of funds would be, um, would serve the first due date, which is May 2nd for applications. So the applications that come in first would be sort of allocated to that first installment of money and then we're allowing people to sort of stew for a year on other ideas and mm -hmm. hopes of using the second installment of monies for people who have ideas that occur to them next May. So if, if somebody puts in an application the first time around and it doesn't get approved, can they resubmit it the second time around? Yeah, we thought we would just, you know, if people want, they can just, we can just roll it over to the next. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, or they can, or maybe we'll have them resubmit it because it's going to be a year later and they may have different ideas. But um, yes, it, it's not a one and done and that's it. It's, you know, you certainly will be reconsidered mm -hmm. for the second round. Okay. I mean, and ultimately we're just giving recommendations and this comes down to that's a right. select board. Yeah. Right. 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 But they, there will be a requested amount that they're there that will go along with this that they want. Yeah, I think that the only challenge that I find to that is, um, you know, if one applicant puts in for the greater part of the funds, and we feel like that applicant has a good claim on some funds, but maybe not the full amount that they've asked for. I'm not quite, maybe we just leave a note to that effect and let you guys decide because we don't, we can't really recommend how much money you allocate. So it makes it a little tricky when people put in um, applications, if they put in applications that are for more than we think that they should get um, because we don't get to really decide that. Mm -hmm. So we may decide that, you know, there's 10 different applications that should get money but if one of those applicants wants most of the money, that doesn't leave any money for the other folks. So that's going to be up to you guys. But we're going to just make our recommendations, and from there you'll have to decide how the money gets allocated. But, but that's one of the reasons why we, we asked for a survey, so that we have a better reading in, in terms of, uh, of what, the, what people might want. Yep, exactly. Yep. And it and I mean the thing of it is is that the survey is not gonna let us know how much the town wants one person to get versus another or one entity. Mm -hmm. So that's still that's still gonna be a hard decision mm -hmm. for you guys. That's right. Um, mm -hmm. but we will have a we will put the statistics together once we get the surveys and, and hand that over with the applications and you guys can have that information. And so. what's the due date for the surveys to be returned? Did we mention that? Yeah, that's a good question. When did we say? I'm blanking right now on when that's 
the surveys are due back. I can I send I can send you an email to that effect. It I, wasn't I, much time. I think it was just a couple yeah. of weeks, wasn't it? I mean, it wasn't. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I can t I can tell you. I can look on the Woodbury website and oh, we for can, some reason. Yeah, we can but, do that. That's okay. We yeah. Can do that. COVID brain. Sorry, yeah, I was a little out of commission when they were putting this all together. Yeah. So COVID brain. Um, did you yeah. Have, did you have it's COVID? Real. What? I did. Oh no! I'm, I'm two weeks out. Woo! <clears throat> Well, I'm sorry. Well, I yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. We're all we all recovered. You all? Oh, the it? whole family had it. A whole darn family. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's it, all right. Uh, we were all vaccinated, but it was a light light case, and we all made it. Good. Okay. Yeah. And so. your family that was visiting, you had some. Did they? Can we you? went to visit some family and they oh. were all fine. So. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was good because my mother's aging and nobody died, yeah. so that was oh, good. good. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty careful. We've always been very careful. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So anyway, now the whole town knows. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's important for people to know that it's still going around. Yeah. It is very much still going around. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yep. All very, very active in the school. <clears throat> yeah. Unfortunately, yep. not necessarily. I don't know about Woodbury Elementary. <coughs> oh dear. <clears throat> I'll let you go. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, appoint library trustees. Sarah Van. Hey, this is Sarah. Oh, Sarah's Hi. here. Oh, okay. Oh, there you are. Thank you. Um, yeah, we have um, two people who are kind of short on trustees at the moment. Um, and we have two people who are interested, expressed an interest in being appointed. One is um, Carrie Elgood, and she's a resident of the town and would like to uh, contribute to the community, and she thought the library would be a good place to start. And the other is Carrie. Laura Massell, who is a property oh. owner in Woodbury, and she served on the trustees for um, the past year, and she did really a, a great job for us, so we'd like to have her appointed again. And then that would give us Four, so not quite a full compliment, but better than two. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd like to make a motion that we appoint Terry Eldred and Laura Massell <clears throat> to the library board for a year because they're being appointed. It's only for one year. Right. They have to be. Correct. Laura can't be on the ballot because she's not living here yet. So right. She'd have to be reappointed every year. Every year. It's okay. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Hi. 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 Great. Yeah, that's that's Thank great. You. How about the how about the Thanks, librarian? Um, you you've got it. Uh, yeah, you can send your application to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Excellent. I'll probably be doing a lot of volunteer fill-ins for a while till we find mm -hmm. somebody. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm gosh. sorry. All right. I liked her. Yeah, yeah it's too bad. You yeah, went to all that. She was very nice. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know what? Part of the problem is she can't get housing around here. She was in a house that people are coming back to Vermont, and they're right. they want their house back, and she mm. can't find anything in yeah. this area. So no, that's a real problem. Yeah, real. real problem. Yeah. So thank you. Well, thank you. Thanks, thank Sarah. You. Uh, formation of a committee to study town meeting options. This is uh, a result of John Reed's. Um, statement at the request or statement uh, that he read out uh, during the uh, town meeting. Want me to read that? Yes, please. Yeah. So this is what they came up with at town meeting. <coughs> An advisory uh, recommendation to the board. Shall the select board be directed to appoint a committee of three to five town voters who equally represent the opinions expressed at the meeting on February 12th, 2022, to consider how to best hold annual town meetings and elections. The committee's assignment includes taking public input from town residents. The committee is to report its findings and recommendations if it chooses by September 15th, 2022, so there is sufficient time for the town's voters to consider action prior to or at town meeting of 2023 if they choose to do so. So, um, we first need to think whether, oh, I guess, whether three to five 
members is enough to really get a representation. I would think that five would. seven, well, five, okay. I think, five I think, okay. I think you're going to have a hard time getting seven. You think? I don't know. I think it would be a hard time getting five, but... No, I don't. But, okay. That sounds great. So, anyways, John, who, John Reed, who made this recommendation at the town meeting, has volunteered to uh, chair the committee, and I'd like to make a motion that we appoint him as a chair and then go out to... Uh, front Porch Forum to find some other volunteers. Um, do you, have a, you want to second that, Chris? I can second it. Okay. You can second it. All those in approve for John to be chair, and uh, we'll, we'll seek uh, five uh, members. Aye. Uh, aye. Aye. Okay. I've already got two people, but uh, I think we should. Just, my son has one. <laughs> I think what I'll I think I'll put something on Front Porch Forum, just asking yeah. people to say a little bit about why they think they're they'd yeah. be a good yeah. uh, member of that okay. commission. I think that sounds great. Okay, so it's going to be hard to you know figure uh, what, uh, what side they're on. Uh, what does it say? And I don't here? think that that's actually important. No, uh, not really. I have to be honest. I don't. I, I, I so, disagree with that. As long as they're that, interested in that making it work. Yeah. Well, so, do you, do you, do you so remember move. the um, at the at the uh, special town meeting when we were discussing that topic? There was mm -hmm. a young man. He's sort of new to town, but he really wanted to research options and stuff. I don't. I think he has children at the school. He does. Would that Stuart meet you? Yeah. Okay. He Thank would you. be. Great. He seemed really interested in the yeah. whole trying to find a, a midpoint to this whole. Um, well, so is John. Yeah. Oh. So, we've got Jonas. We've so got he Stuart. will. He can put people. his name in. Alex. What, what mm. something okay, so do. Alex see, you're having five. If you get, let's say, nine people that say they want to be on there. Sounds That's great. To decide. Right. So is John <laughs> going to be in on? He's going to be one. Yeah, oh. Is he oh. going to be in on? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think the board should make the appointment. Oh, okay. Can I ask a question? Um, I, I oh, came for this go ahead. discussion, and I guess I showed up a little bit too late for it. No, um, you're really good. Perfect. Oh, okay. Perfect timing. Awesome. So I'm interested in um, volunteering if there is room um, for me on that board, I'd, I'd really like to be a part of that. Um, so how would I? Well, I just like I just said, I'm going to put something on Front Porch Forum and ask people to respond if they're interested and say a okay. little bit about why they're interested, and then we'll get you know either a flood or maybe six applications, and okay. then we'll have to decide. And um, I'm also curious, like, what is this going to involve? From the post I saw on Front Porch Forum. Like, to me, it seems like there's some easy solutions, but it sounds like it might be more complicated than I think just because of, like, rules that um, that are out there. Well, the first thing so, the board will have to do is figure out what the law is and what's possible and what's not. Okay, so will that be a task of the committee yep. to, like, figure this stuff out? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So let's do this one little other thing before we go back to Chuck. Uh, you want to talk about this? Well, are we done with this? Oh. Everybody satisfied with? I mean, I would think that if you get a number of people that are interested, that um, you know, the more the better. It's just a committee to kind of work out well, the, options. The more, yeah, the more people. I mean, anybody can come to the meetings. Yeah. So you know, how, how many? It's still going to be advisory. So the votes. You know, who votes on what? There's probably not going to be votes up and down. There's probably going to be consideration of options and come up with a recommendation, which everybody might not like. Is there, so there's not a set number yet? As right. Far as, okay. So would that, would a final decision, that would cause, call for a special town meeting, right, to make a it final? Would, uh, no, it would depend. Uh-huh. The select board could There's do other that. things that, that, that could happen that would not require a special meeting. Okay. I think what, from my standpoint, we're looking for a good cross-section, you know, uh, in terms of... Yeah, uh, some kind of middle ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Anything more on that? 
Lizzie, thank you for yeah. Thanks for yeah, your timing yeah, was yeah, perfect. Your timing was perfect. I'm probably yeah. gonna leave now. <laughs> yeah, you can <laughs> leave. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Guys. But thank you so much for being uh, on. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's terrific. Listen, yeah. I'm interested in being on the planning commission. I don't know what that does, but I talk. I'd be willing to talk about it. About it. Okay. Oh, yes, I do. I do know what it does. Yeah. Um, so, you were Lizzie, just say yes. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> like, like, probably. Just say yes. But she's going to be the health <laughs> officer? No. <laughs> <laughs> go go now. Oh, okay. Go now. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
develop in our state, several, restriction, several restrictions must be observed. One, town select boards and planning commissions must be involved in the siting process before locations are determined. Two, town ordinance zoning and town plans must be followed in the process of siting and structure design of telecommunication towers. And three, public good, not developer's profit, must remain paramount, and town governance must guide this process. Um, that's the motion. Um, any discussion? Well, um, I will have to say that based on state law, none of these things actually matter. Based on state law, that's right. Right. So, I mean, this is nice and cute. But that there's a lot of... But yeah. the reality is that this is just one town's adjacent opposition to the fact that state law supersedes everything that we've just mm -hmm. said. Right. I understand, but I think there's more than one town that are that are responding in this in like mind. Um, do, do we have any evidence of that? That's what he said, John Keating, the okay. select board. Yeah, that he yeah, there I were think, other towns. Yeah, I don't think it'll have any weight, but I, you okay. know, but people. No, uh, it's fine. At some point, the, the regulators might start to realize that uh, every town's going to have this fight. I mean, the one in Hardwick was going on for, for years, twenty years. Actually. Yeah. yeah, and uh, the last one was was withdrawn um, by the by the developer. Oh, without a lot of going back and forth, but uh, this one, yeah, I'm. It's just a just being a good neighbor. I yeah, think I'm willing. To, I'm absolutely willing to sign this okay. because it's it. It's what Worcester would. I mean, I would like to support Worcester. Yeah, me too. And we're you know we are good neighbors, and we're actually yeah. you know half of our roads right on the west side of Woodbury yeah. <laughs> to go right through town. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I'd like to be in best support of Worcester, but I don't think that this has any teeth. Um, no. uh, we're at, also, least, at least we're, we're making a tacit effort, I suppose. And we also have uh, representation in the State House for all these, uh, in the House. In the House. We're yeah. in the same district. We're in the same, same district, district. In the house. Yeah. or at least for now. <laughs> no, it's that, no, all been approved. Stay that, way. that was approved. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. So we are. Yeah. <laughs> Don't towns have a little bit more teeth if they have something in their town plan that specifically talks about towers and the town's feelings about towers? <laughs> As I understand, I'm not sure if it was a, a, a governor's decree, but it was something that was uh, quite sweeping, and, and it basically said there is... Uh, uh, there's no local uh, control over it, um, so that my, that's my read. I think uh, it all comes down from the FCC. I don't know if even the governor had any, or the legislature had any. Well, I think there was something that happened at the state yeah. level as the, well. Um, the new the new town plan does have um, an enhanced energy component, component. to it, uh, right. which would have uh, some way for the um, placement of industrial uh, power, like uh, wind towers, wind towers. or. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But it doesn't actually talk no, about. It doesn't talk about communication. uh, communications. No, no. So, in fact, if we remember, um, there was a company out of New Hampshire that approached the Myers to put them up. Um, that would have been visible from here, but it was going down Buffalo, Buffalo. up towards to the uh, yeah. Yeah. electric. Yeah, uh, those are windmills. Those were, that was, those were windmills. Small, they were small-scale windmills. Mm. Right. Mm. And those were denied. Well. It never they worked out. They were never efficient enough. No, but their efficiency they, was just not high enough. Well, well I, I don't need. I, I decided not. Yeah, to, that's right. Not to yeah, let it happen on their land. To yeah. Go with the developers. Yeah. Plans. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. I mean, it's not their land anymore. So I can oh. sign this. <laughs> we're all. We're, <laughs> yes. <laughs> True, but the people who now own the land the are preserves, pretty the much preserves. full of promises <laughs> of things that aren't going to happen in the wilderness area. <laughs> Wind towers wouldn't be one of them. I don't think wind towers are one. <laughs> are there two copies? Should yeah, there's just two copies because I made just because I made two copies. I'll keep one for the for the minutes. No, that was, did you sign the minutes there, uh, Chris? I don't want to lose track of those. Yep, sorry. Yes. Yeah, they're all signed. Can you send it over to Robin? Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Do you want me to Thank slide you. those over, or is that not sliding over? <laughs> yeah. Or slide it. Is there something else that I'm supposed to Oh, no. <laughs> oh. I'm keeping this one. All right. Unless, yeah, I can do that. So are there any other business or updates? If not, then we should uh, um, make a motion make, to go into executive session. Yeah, I will make the motion to go into executive session. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, aye. And, it's, uh, so and, we'll, and we will request uh, six. Chuck to remain. Yeah. Yes, please. What else do you